Okay, so this is example 8 in a proof topic. We're looking at proof by contradiction. In order to do proof by contradiction, uh, as it says here, what we're going to do is we're going to try and prove something not directly, but kind of the opposite. We're going to prove that the opposite um, of the conjecture doesn't work. That's the contradiction part. We're going to say, oh, look, we found something, but we expected a different result. Now, in order to uh, do this, you need to know about negation statements. So go back to example 7 if you haven't already done so and learn about negation statements. Okay, so direct proof really is about saying uh, it, for our what we would call implication statements we have an if then. If, P, if statement P is true then statement Q is true and that's what we normally try to prove true. What we're going to do with the contradiction is we're going to assume that the first statement is true and we're going to expect the negation of Q, the opposite of Q, to be true. So as you can expect, we're, that's where it's going to trip up because we're going to find that the opposite doesn't work. And that's a contradiction. So it works quite well for certain proofs. Some proofs that we're going to try, you could do a direct proof of, but I'm going to show you anyway how we, we go through the process of proof by contradiction. So here we've got an implication statement. We've got a conjecture. It says it's a contra it's a implication because it's got an if and a then. Okay, now the first part of the, the, the statement P, A and B are integers is really just a definition. So don't get too tied up in that. We're really saying that if two numbers A and B uh, multiply together to give us an odd integer, then A and B must both be odd. So there's our implication statement. So normally what I'm going to do, you can do it too if you want, I'm going to underline the first statement. We'll get AB as an odd integer. We'll call that P, and then we're going to call the second one Q. So our contradiction statement, contradiction statement, and you can kind of write this down uh, or every time you use it just to help. It's like a formula. What we're going to uh, write down here is assume P implies not Q. Okay? So given P, it implies the negation of Q. So we have to turn that into words. So what we're basically saying here is that we're assuming or given A, B is an odd integer. Integer. Then, so here's our new implication statement. If what? Given A, B is an odd integer, then, okay, so what's not Q? A, B, A and B must both be odd. Well, we know that if they're something that's all, uh, when it comes to negation, uh, goes to sum. Not none. It's not a case of they can't both be odd, but the negation of all are odd is some are odd. And our I suppose, explanation of that would just be at least one of A or B might be odd. So it does sometimes take a wee bit of writing out. Assuming A, B is an odd integer, then at least one of A or B must be be odd. So they could both be odd, or one of them must be odd. And that's our contradic kind of contradiction statement. So now we go set out to prove that true. Okay, we're going to try and prove that. So if we're saying here, now we usually do it the kind of other way around. We're basically going to say, if one of A or B is odd, then we can say, okay, let A equal an odd number. And we'll let B equal an even number. Now we're going to use uh, K and P, we've already defined the ideas of odd and even numbers. A and B are independent of each other, so we have to use different variables, and we'll say that K and P are both uh, integers in their own right. So A is an odd number, B is an even number, which is the second part. So we're then saying, well, what does that mean about A, B? Then A times B going to be 2k plus 1 multiplied by 2p, which multiplies out to give you 4kp plus 2p. 
Now, I can take a common factor of 2 to leave us with that. Now, the implication of this statement here, because it's a multiple of 2, is that it's an even number. In other words, if uh, A or B is odd, then AB is even. Well, hang on a minute. That's not right, because we assumed that A, B is odd. Okay? We've actually, that's, that's the one thing that we've fixed. Okay? So what we can say here is that this is a contradiction. That statement we've just written is a contradiction. This is a contradiction as A, B was assumed to be even. No, it's not assumed to be odd. In other words, we've tried to prove the opposite of the original conjecture, and we've found that we can't, in which case the logic is that the original conjecture must be true. Okay? So we say here that this is a contradiction as AB was assumed to be true, the, therefore, uh, the, I suppose the negation is false, so the original conjecture is true. Okay, we square. I think we've pr proven it. So the, the the words that you write in summary are just as important as any of the algebra stuff. We've just to kind of run through it. We have uh, written down our negation statement or our contradiction statement. We've uh, said assuming uh, p then not q. We've set out to try and prove that our contradiction statement is true, and lo and behold, we've come up with a contradiction. We're saying that we would expect the value of AB to be even. However, we've already said that AB is odd. That's a contradiction. Therefore, our negation is false, so the original conjecture must be true. Okay? So, we'll have a go at the next one. You can see the same kind of structure and hope it will start to make a bit of sense.